hi guys in this video i'm going to be showing you how to import products from different websites to shopify now you can use this to import products from your own website or any e-commerce website like amazon aliexpress alibaba any e-commerce website online you can easily import products from um these websites to your shopify now you what, what you need to do guys you want to search for shopify you just need to log in into your shopify store that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to log to I'm going to log in into my Shopify store. Now I'm gonna be showing you guys two ways on how you can import products from uh, websites from different websites to your Shopify. Now, the first way is free. You don't have to pay anything. But the problem with the free uh like the free uh, way is uh is it's not 100 percent accurate okay but it works it just not it just have to correct if it made a mistake you can just correct for example the title the description if there is a mistake you just need to correct that okay it doesn't always make mistakes i'm going to show you guys what i mean in a few seconds and the second one is paid okay it doesn't make any mistake uh i'm talking about the apps that you can download on your shopify store so that you can start importing products from different websites okay let me show you guys what i mean exactly in a few seconds now you want to click on settings at the very bottom left okay and then you want to click on apps and sales channels now after that you want to click on shopify app store in the top right and it will take you guys to this page now you want to search in the top you want to search for robo okay a robo that's the name of the app that is free that you can use to import products from different websites to your Shopify. Now, this is the app. It's called Robo Product Importer. Okay, make sure it has the same logo as you can see. Click on that app and then it will take you to this page. You want to click on install and it will take you to the next page and you need to click again on install. So you need to click on install here. And then you give it a few seconds and as you can see the app is, is, is successfully installed on our shopify now next thing you need to do is to download a chrome extension as you can see the first step is to install our free chrome extension you need to click on git extension here it will take you directly guys to chrome web store and you need to add this extension to your chrome you just need to click on add to chrome here and then you want to click on add extension as you can see this extension in the top you just need to pin this extension in the top you want to click uh, extensions as you can see you want to click here and then you want to pin the extension you want to click this pin as you can you can see here robo product importer you want to click on this pencil or whatever they call it a pin button click on it and as you can see the extension now you can see it in the top now what you need to do guys now is to go to any website it could be Amazon, it could be AliExpress, your own website. You can easily import products to your Shopify. Now, for example, let's use Amazon as an example. I'm going to go to Amazon and I'm going to search for the product that I want to import to my Shopify store. Now, for example, I want to product, I want to, I'm sorry, I want to import this product. Okay, I'm going to search for something else like makeup. Okay 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 um, let's say that i want to import this product to my shopify store it's easy and quick you just need to click on the extension that you have downloaded a few seconds ago click on that and it will say there add to shopify click on add to shopify and it will take you directly guys to the to the robo's website so that you can push this product to your shopify store like i said it's not 100% accurate as you can see it says here disclaimer with consistently changing e-commerce sites the product data imported may not be accurate verify data before importing so if you want to use the, the free version always make sure everything is correct like check the price okay you always have to uh, add the price here so for example the price of this one is uh, 27 I'm going to select here for example 30 this is just an example um, okay and then click on description and make sure the description is correct it doesn't have any I don't think it will make a mistake in the description section um, just check images for example and see um, if you select for example all images uh, you can select them here 
as you can see these are the images it, it, I, I believe like it only has one image on Amazon yeah it only has one image that's why I don't see different images now the basic info like I said you just need to verify everything is okay and then click on where it says import now after you click guys where uh, the, 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 uh, the fourth step as you can see is import you want to click on add product to Shopify now this product will be imported to your Shopify automatically as you can see it says here product imported successfully now if you click on view it will take you directly guys to your Shopify store as you can see you haven't uh, uh, paid for the plan that's why it says here opening soon but I am going to go to my Shopify manually and I will show you guys the product I'm going to click on products in the top left and as you can see this is the product that we have imported to our Shopify store okay everything is correct here all I did is to as I verified everything is correct so that's it guys now if you want to use the paid version I think everyone uh, is going to be okay with using this app okay it, it's, it doesn't make a lot of mistake a lot of mistakes but sometimes if you import it from a website for example and it doesn't it's not um, you know it's not compatible or something like that I hope you guys understand me um, sometimes it makes mistake okay it mistakes it's not always now the second app which is paid that's the problem with this app that's why I didn't explain this app to, to um, I, I didn't uh, show you guys this app at the beginning because everyone wants the free version uh, you just need to search on Shopify App Store for copy copyfy fi okay the app I the name of the app I is called copy copy fi I hope I okay I'm going to get the name from yeah I, I already made a video about this topic I am going to show you guys exactly the the name of the app like the, the second app that is paid okay this is the, the name of the app it's called copy fi okay I'm going to search for it right now copy fi okay this is the as you can see here this is the, the name of the app copy fi and it's paid okay that's the problem with this app you, you need to pay um, subscription that's the only problem here with the app okay so i hope guys this video is uh, helped you if it does leave a like subscribe let me know in the comments if this works see you guys in the next video please drop a like and see you guys next video